Hey guys, so if you're like me and you have an MSI Optics monitor and you have two inputs connected, say DisplayPort, which you're using for your main computer, and if you have HDMI used for like a console or another computer, you've probably been having an issue where you're not able to switch to the HDMI correctly and it's just been blacking out the screen and then switching back to DisplayPort. I actually have managed to find a solution that I want to kind of share with you guys here. So what you would either do is possibly either use gaming on screen display and go over to inputs where is that that's going to be here now settings pardon and what you're going to want is you're going to want auto scan off you can either do that here or if you guys aren't familiar with it which i wasn't either on the back here if you press this little nub right here it'll bring up the menu you can go or you can close the menu you can go down to input source and then on input source you will turn off auto scan there as well now the reason you're going to do that is because it's when it gets no signal it auto scans back to display port because I have found out that, for some reason, it actually will read, but after a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my controller here. Or, pardon, turn on my controller here, which turns on the console. And then I'm going to switch over to HDMI. Now you're going to see, it's going to take quite a while to actually pop up. I think it takes maybe about 25 seconds, which I personally believe is really unreasonable and is silly. And there's also going to be another issue. This is just kind of a workaround. So that issue that's going to be is that HDR is not going to be enabled for some reason. I have found that if my computer is off, so the display port is not active and the HDMI is the only one active, then HDR actually does indeed come on. And I'll show you that after I show you guys the solution. So once you get that solution, you can just disappear. But as you see right there, it did no signal again. That's like two no signals, and then there it is. It actually does manage to pop up. I am finally able to use my console on this monitor, which is great. But um, like I said, I'll just show you guys really quick. HDR is not active. This is an issue that I would really like addressed. Um, you see right there, it's off if I try to go. Sorry. I'm trying to hold a camera and do everything at once. Try to go to automatic. It says it's not supported, which we we all know is false. This monitor definitely has HDR. So, what I'm going to do now is console's going to go off. I'm going to turn this off really quick. Alright, over to here. Turn off the PS5. And then I'm going to go back to DisplayPort. You will see here that HDR is going to pop up in the corner. Well, maybe it won't, but... Oh, there it is. Anyways, yes, HDR is enabled, and I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn off my entire computer, and you're going to see that another thing that is very strange is when DisplayPort is completely knocked at, not active, so when it's completely off, and you turn on the console, it'll pop up much faster for that HDMI, but it will also have HDR ready. So let's go back to HDMI 1, switch over to that, and turn on that console. Sorry if you're not able to see a couple things. It's having a little trouble picking up some of the words, but that's not really the most important thing. It's kind of just trying to show you guys, you know, that this is a really nice monitor. See, it popped up much quicker there, and you're going to see HDR up in the corner right there. This is a really nice monitor. It's got incredible colors and everything, and it just really bothers me that, you know, it's got all these problems because, honestly, it's, it's, it's expensive and high quality. You know, you should be getting what you're paying for. And it just really bothers me that MSI has not really taken this into consideration. That they have obviously made it to be a dual input monitor, or even a triple input monitor, because they have a button here you can change to a source and everything. Like the little macro key here. But it was just not working correctly. Um, so I would really, you know, I'd really appreciate if you guys maybe shared this video at MSI, or, you know, tweeted at them, being like, hey, this is an issue, we want it fixed. We, I don't understand why it's like this because it just is a huge inconvenience to not be able to use the features that you have on your monitor, you know, at all. I paid for HDR. I wish to have HDMR or HDR on this monitor while I'm using my console. I don't know if it's some kind of weird limitation that they haven't talked about, but it's it's strange. Anyways, uh, I hope that solution at least gives you guys a nice fix and a workaround for now. It definitely did for me. I'll, I'll be playing on this monitor a little bit more because it's, it's nice and crispy. And uh, that's it. Peace, guys.